It's late. It's late. And I got something I need to do before I leave for the night. And that is split my cultures of phytoplankton. Now these guys, interestingly enough, you can kind of see which ones of, uh, are completely dark green and then ones that are a little bit lighter. I actually thought these guys weren't going to make it, but they uh, have colored up pretty good, minus the ones that are on the inside and then the ones on the outside being a lot darker. But that's not what we're splitting today. The uh, Nano is okay, which I think it, it could be uh, it could be split. But the ISO, man, that looks like a trucker bottle. We gotta get that split up. Went to Home Depot today and we got an additional light, so we're gonna be able to move up uh, to the second shelf there. So we're gonna be able to split the, um, the Nano and the ISO, have them not be in the same realm. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a little station going and we're gonna split up the ISO and I'm gonna show you guys how I split cultures because that's something that I've covered here on the channel before, but um, not in a while. So we're gonna get some salt water going, which we don't have to water anything down because uh, these cultures are at exact 35 parts per thousand as far as salinity goes. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the airline because we're gonna move the entire uh, culture up I got an additional light, which I think that's the reason why I walked up front before I distracted myself with my words and uh, get that guy hooked up. So this is the light that I am using for the culturing as of right now. Uh, it's an LED light. You can pick this up at Home Depot. It is expensive and it's getting more expensive every time I go buy one. These are two foot lights, which um, I used to use shop lights and I used to use daylight bulbs, but these LED lights, what I like about them, one, they don't use a ton of electricity, and two, they are linkable, so they have the ability to uh, basically be daisy chained together, uh, which I like, and that's kind of a little bit of flexibility in that, and then it has the square ends on it, so you're able to stand it up on end, it's not a big deal, uh, it's not like having a shop light laying on its side and it's actually designed to be used in that way. You can see right here, the other little deal. Obviously, they're referring to plants, but um, it's a good little light, but like I said, very, very expensive. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and open this guy up. Actually, I'm just gonna leave it on the counter, and um, we're gonna go ahead and split that ISO uh, culture, uh, possibly the Nano as well, and we'll move them onto their own different tiers. So the ISO will go up to the top tier and then the Nano uh, will stay on the tier that it is on. Uh, but we're gonna essentially double our phytoplankton which has been, I think, less than seven days uh, since we originally um, started that culture. And we still have these guys sitting here just chilling. Um, so uh, we're gonna have plenty of phytoplankton here very very soon. All right so we're gonna open this bad boy up and I'll show you kind of what you're getting with this light. It's not a whole lot to it but it is uh, a good light for culturing phytoplankton. Uh, I've had a lot of success with it. Um, not cheap by any means. We've already kind of hammered that into the ground but basically you get a hanging kit which I probably would never use. Some instructions on how to mount and then you have the light itself. Now as far as these being daisy chained together, literally all you need is the plug and you can plug it into the other end of the light. Um, but it has a good little spectrum, it's, it's really pinkish, um, but the, the light does a good job of growing phytoplankton and that's the real reason why I like it right there is you have the ability to stand it up on its side and um, you know if you've got two liters you probably could put close to four two liters in front of this light and you know that's going to grow you a good amount of phytoplankton or you can even uh, have a bigger container like almost a five gallon container in front of this light and then if things get really going uh, you can stack these up on top of each other i'd probably get the velcro you know stick it on both sides and so the lights are standing up uh at least since something's holding them in place but um you know it's not cheap but it doesn't use a ton of electricity 
And I'm going to tell you right now, I just got the first power bill for the fish store. And oh my lord, we need to, um, one, be able to maximize the electricity that we are using. And uh, two, if we, if we can cut back, we need to cut back. All right, so I got my two cultures, which this is supposed to be like a golden color. Crazy thick, crazy dark. Uh, but what we're, what we're gonna do is split this culture and we're gonna literally go half seas. A little bit more. Um, this being the first time that I've split these, typically what I would do is I would uh, clean up this, you know what, actually I'm gonna do it anyways. I'm taking the lazy road uh, and I'm not gonna do that. Uh, so what, what I'm gonna do is I'm literally gonna have two new bottles. I'll have to go you know, sterilize two more. Um, but I'm going to clean this container. So we got two bottles, pour this guy into that. I'm gonna try to keep the chunks out. All right, I'm gonna pour a little bit back in. That way, pretty much split in half. And then we're gonna top both of these up with salt water. And then we're gonna add uh, some more F2. And then I'm gonna get two more clean bottles. Uh, do the same process with this one. And then I'm gonna clean this guy out. Uh, and I'll have it sitting there waiting for the next time um, if I were to split them into these little bottles again. Usually after I have four vessels going, I will move up to a two liter at that point. Um, these are 16 ounce bottles, so I'll get four culturing and I'll take essentially two bottles a week from now of this phytoplankton, fill up a two liter and then top it off the rest of salt water and then you know obviously do the same with that right there. Uh, so this can be discarded. The reason that you know I was going to just let it go a little bit further but you can kind of see there's a bunch of garbage in there. Uh, this garbage can ultimately uh, crash your culture. So it's important to make sure that you're doing the right thing. And I was kind of trying to take the short way out, but um, we're gonna do it right. And I'm gonna go ahead and clean two more of these up. We'll split this one. I'll trash both these bottles and then um, we'll move on from there. So gonna go ahead and fill up these two. And then we'll get two more vessels. This is just good old fashioned pre-mixed salt water. You can kind of see that golden color there coming through a little bit more. I guess it's more of like a reddish brown. A little bit more salt water here. The big thing when you're doing culturing um, is cross-contamination, trying to avoid that. Uh, so I will, between, I'll probably just do this culture tonight. Tomorrow we'll do the nano because the nano seems like it's a little bit behind this stuff as far as you know how dense the uh, culture was and I'll make sure that I clean this countertop prior to uh, doing the splitting of that culture as well. Uh, so there we got basically split right in half. You can kind of see it looks a little bit more like the stuff in the bag there. Uh, one's a little bit more darker than the other but um, we will go ahead and replace that on this one. Then we'll set this guy up the same way. Then we're gonna go ahead and split these up and I'll meet you guys over by the light. All right, there is our culture where one, one stood, we created two. And from that two, we have created four. It's still pretty dark. Um, I know the light kind of has an effect on that, which is not the same exact light that I had down there. So I'm wondering uh, what kind of effects. This one was like, white and pink and this one's just straight pink but we'll see how that turns out uh, i'll keep an eye on it make sure it's going in the right direction if not we'll just drop down to that guy but i'd assume if it's a grow light it should work just fine but uh, we watered them down a little bit and uh, we added some more f2 and we have uh, successfully gotten a pretty good little culture of uh, iso phytoplankton going on so uh, we're gonna let that sit up for a couple days. We'll keep an eye on it, make sure it's going pretty good. I know that this pump uh, has a butt on its last leg, so I wanna make sure that that's getting plenty of air, but definitely moving in the right direction with the Fido.
All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time that we upload a new video. Peace.